Welcome back to this week's Inside the Idaho Vandals with head basketball coach Don Verlin. I'm Dennis Patchen. Thanks for being here. It's good to be here, Dennis. Thank you. It started. It has started. How 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 has it how's it going so far with your basketball well, team? Well, it's been good. Uh, got a good group of guys that are working extremely hard. I like the new guys that are in the program, and the veterans have done a great job of leading those guys to this point. So, very excited to get the season started this Friday. Now, there's a couple of rules that allow you to get guys earlier than, than in the old days. How has that two hours a week allowed you guys to get better prepared for the start of the season? Well, I think it's really helped us, uh, especially when you have some new guys. What, what, what happened was at the start of school, we were able to work the guys out two hours a week in individual groups of four. Then come September 15th, we're actually able to get a team together and work out two hours a week. So I think it's really helped us. I think we're farther along, so is everybody else, but uh, I think we're farther along uh, than we have been at this point uh, any other year. When we get into the season, it's preparation, getting ready for a team. Start of the season, you got a long way before you play anybody, even in a game that maybe it doesn't count, one of those scrimmages, those kind of things. What's the focus in the first couple weeks of the season? We focus on fundamentals. Fundamentals uh, offensively, defensively, really work on building the foundation that will carry us all the way through the year. Some very basic defensive fundamentals as well as offensive fundamentals that, that help us uh, and allow us not to do those things later on in the year. So we've, we spend the first, what we kind of call our camp. Football has a camp. We kind of have a camp that goes to the end of our exhibition season. So it's about three and a half weeks long. We really work on the fundamentals of the game. Is there anything you, you, you're wanting to see out of this team as you get ready for that first game? Yeah, we've got to defend it a lot better than we did a year ago in the preseason, uh, no question about it. We worked really hard uh, defensively so far, and we got to rebound it better, and I think we are going to rebound it better. We've got a few better rebounders in Kyle Verón coming back, and, and Marcus Bell uh, in addition who can really rebound it. So, But really what we've got to do is shore up our defense early in the season. We've always been um, pretty good offensively. We've been able to score our ball. I really think this team has to rely on his defense and rebounding to be successful. You talked about Kyle Barron. Uh, he's back with the team. Where are you with him? I know that he was away from the team for a little bit this uh, this season. Yeah, Kyle's back to practice now. I don't know when he's going to play in a game at this point, but uh, he is back practicing. He's done a number of things uh, with me and, and with the community. Uh, to you know, Kyle made a mistake, and, and he's trying to kind of rebuild himself, and, and we're going to make sure he does the right things before he gets back on the court. That wouldn't have anything to do with getting up real early in the morning, would it? No, no. Well, those new shoes I give him, I just, you know, every once in a while I get to wear those out. So uh, <laughs> Kyle's gone through a couple pairs his last couple weeks. But it's, it's uh, you know, he's a kid. Uh, we love him. He's one of our family members. Uh, he made a mistake. He knows he made a mistake. And, and now what we got to do is support him. You talked about Marcus Bell. What does he bring to your team? Well, Marcus is a very talented young man, 6'8", athletic rebounder. Uh, you know, we lost Jim Vandermill, an athletic kid inside, and, and happy to have Marcus with us from Marshalltown, Iowa, originally from Modesto Junior College, or Modesto, uh, California is where he's originally from, played at Marshalltown Junior College. Uh, can really rebound his ball, really athletic, and will really help our inside defense. Every year, you lose guys to graduation, you get new guys, it's just the lifeblood of college basketball. How do you mesh those guys in a very short period of time because you don't have a lot before that first game? That's a great question. Uh, <laughs> they're getting force fed right now, I'll tell you. Uh, things are coming at them in a hurry and we have a bunch of good guys who, who have really worked hard and what we try to do is just maximize the time we have with them. Uh, we watch a lot of film individually with them. Uh, we work with them individually when we can before or after practice. But really, it's, it's kind of uh, learning uh, on the go or learning, uh, learning as practices go. So, and the new guys have done a great job to this point. I've been really happy with Antoine Scott, Denzel Douglas, Robert Harris. All those kids have jumped in and done a great job so far. Anybody that has come back from last year's team that has either caught your eye or is, or, or is a guy you expect to do some things? Steven Madison's been great in, in, in this uh, early season. Uh, he's, he's, we've had two inter-squad scrimmages. He's led us in scoring both times and in rebounding. He's come back in tremendous shape. Uh, he's, he had a great sophomore year, and I expect him to have even a better junior year. He can shoot it from about Genesee, right? Any, any place, anywhere, any time, he would tell you. Uh, sometimes any time, any place is a little concerned to me. But, uh, no, he's, he's really worked hard on his perimeter shot. Uh, Steve can play inside. He can play outside. And I really like 
the way he's prepared himself for the season. Of the new guys, who's going to have to uh, who's going to have to step up for you guys to be successful where you want to be? Well, obviously our concern is at the point guard spot. Uh, we've got three guys uh, coming back, or three guys in the program. Mike McChristian, we've moved him uh, from his, his normal three guard position to the point guard. Uh, so I kind of consider him a new guy because. Uh, he's playing a new position. And then Robert Harris and Denzel Douglas are, are new guys, both of them JC transfers who are battling for those minutes at the point guard. How good is your basketball team? Or how, I guess maybe maybe the better question is, as the season goes along, how good can you be? Well, right now it's too early to tell. Uh, I think by the end of the season, I think this is a pretty good whack team. Uh, I really do. We've got good size. Uh, we've got good quickness and we can really shoot the ball. Uh, and as our point guard play gets better day in and day out, I think you'll see this team battle for a whack title. I'd be surprised if we don't. Um, you know, now our, our preseason non-conference schedule is really tough this year. Uh, you know, we play some really good teams, some really good teams on the road. Uh, you know, Washington State on the road, New Mexico on the road, UTEP on the road. Uh, we've got some tough games, but I think that'll get us ready for whack play. You got to talk to that guy who set up that schedule for you about that. Yeah, and you probably, I guess I got to talk to myself because <laughs> I do the scheduling. So, but I, I thought it was a year, and it, and it kind of really starts with our exhibition games. Uh, uh, Seattle Pacific beat Arizona last year in an exhibition game, and Central Washington. Washington, I think, I know two years ago they won this, or last year, did they win it last year? They, or was it Western Washington? That was Western Washington. Western won Washington won the Division II, but Central's always been very good, and uh, so we've got two really, really good exhibition games to get us ready for our early season games. To win a championship, who do you have to beat? Who's the good teams this well, year? Well, you know, and that's a great question. Uh, you know, it always, the WAC championship always goes through Logan and always goes through Las Cruces. Uh, you know, you look at the history of the WAC, and, and since these teams have been in, that's, that's where it's gone. But I think some surprising teams are going to see Denver. I think Denver's a really good team, got a really good coach and play a different style uh, than we're used to. I think Louisiana Tech made a late run in the tournament. They, they are very, very talented. And I, I really think that's a, it's a four or five team race, but I don't know enough about those Texas schools to tell you at this point. I'll know more as the season goes on. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you, Dennis. Don will be joining us after the first of the year on a regular basis here on Inside the Idaho Vandals as the basketball season We'll start whack play at that point in time. When we come back, we'll take a look at women's volleyball. Up one game and down the next. We'll have that for you when Inside the Idaho Vandals continue. <laughs>